work continues on the final phases of the $185 million transformation of the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. While a block away, the same level of activity can be found at the Old May Company building on Public Square as a long empty former department store is reconfigured for mixed use. Both projects are the vision of Dan Gilbert, as was this place nearby, the Higby Building. This is what it looked like in 2011, empty with few takers. Gilbert would spend $350 million transforming the first four floors of it into his casino in 2012 before later buying the property outright and relocating more than 400 Quicken Loans employees into the upper floors. Gilbert's companies now also own Tower City Center, the Ritz-Carlton, among other Cleveland properties as well. In 2012, I asked him, There is no one person in the city elected, appointed, or self-anointed who has more of an impact on the city's future right now than you. Do you realize that? Well, you know, I don't know if I totally realize that. You know, that's um, that's you know, I, I'm very humbled by it all, and and you know, I just feel good that look that we can make a positive impact, um, and you know, we we actually call it you know doing well by doing good, and and we don't think those are in conflict. As big as Gilbert's footprint is in Cleveland, it is nothing compared to his hometown of Detroit, where he's moved more than 17,000 Quicken Loans employees from the suburbs into the more than 100 downtown buildings he's bought and refurbished over the last decade. We're about urban development both in Detroit and in Cleveland and in, in these industrial, you know, old rust belt cities that are now emerging with life.